Wireless is hot. Wireless hotspots are even hotter. They're popping up everywhere. And so are the hackers. Our concern is that people don't understand the risk of what can happen, how, how a, an attack can occur on them while they're on a public Wi-Fi. Eric Rowan, a local computer security expert, demonstrated for us hacking software called SSL Strip, which literally strips you of security while you're surfing the net. Here's John. He just connected to Lake Eola's wireless network. And not far away, Eric is able to see where John is surfing and worse yet, the usernames and passwords he uses on different websites. For example, John goes to Fairwinds Credit Union's website. His username is Thursday. His password is I don't care. And now Eric proves that this hacking software program works. He went to the Fairwinds website to log in. His sign-in ID, so his username he logged in as was Thursday, and his password was, I don't care. So Eric has full access to John's account. We have yet to find a site that this doesn't work on. People who are down here and are just logging on, maybe paying bills that don't know, they're using their actual passwords and their usernames, and he's getting that information. But it's not just a Lake Eola issue. It's an anywhere there's wireless issue, like college campuses, hotels, airports, and the ubiquitous Starbucks. Just last week, the Java giant launched free unlimited Wi-Fi at all company-owned stores. We met up again with Eric and John, this time at the Bikes, Beans, and Bordeaux, a popular Orlando cafe and wireless hotspot. Here, Eric explained how the hacking really works. SSL Strip removes the S from any HTTPS address. That S is the security. Once stripped, the hacker can get between you, the user, and the wireless connection. It's called a man-in-the-middle attack, and we showed over and over again that it works. The Wells Fargo website, our username is Thursday, our password is Local6. And the user ID typed in was Thursday, and the password is Local6. Then we went to Gmail. Our username was Victim. Password is Don't Hack Me. The username he logged in as was Victim at gmail.com, and the password was Don't Hack Me. We can't do anything without hacking us. Once you shut down your computer, there'd be no trace that it even happened. So how do you protect yourself when you're wireless? It's fairly simple. Always use the HTTPS when you're visiting different websites. For example, if you go to SunTrust, it should look like this. If you just use www, you're leaving yourself open to attack. Using the S is actually a manual way to protect yourself. I'm consumer editor Stephen Cooper, Local 6.